Hi, my name is Allison and I have Asperger's Syndrome. I was diagnosed at the age of 13. When I first found out that I had it, I was in denial. I knew that I really didn't understand or get sarcasm or things like that and people would say stuff to me and it would go over my head. But I just thought that was like other people, even though down in my heart I really knew it wasn't. So I went to high school and I was put in Asperger's classes to try to help me. I did better in smaller groups, but I still was in denial. I didn't want to admit that there was something different with me, that I was different from other kids, even though, down deep, I knew that I was. Finally, I came to the acceptance. You know, it doesn't matter what other people think of me. This is how God made me, and God loves me, and he accepts me for who I am. So why not suck it up and get going? Now, it wasn't always easy, believe me, and still, it's not. It's hard to be in a group of people and they'll say something sarcastic and you don't understand it and you take it personally. It really stinks. But the hardest thing for me is friends. So how do I tell my friends that I have something different? How do I let them know? How will they understand? How will they not look at me as, you're just some freak? Because I'm not. I'm different. I'm special. Well, I've experienced if those people are truly my friends, They'll understand and they'll accept me for who I am. Those who I've told and they've made fun of me, I realized they weren't really my friends in the first place. I always had a big fear. I would never get married. No man would ever love me and accept me for who I am. I'm too weird. I'm just not normal. Well, boy, was I wrong. God had other plans for me. I met my wonderful husband in 2010. He loved me just for who I am. All my special quirks and all. And that's very important. It's important to have family and friends that stand up behind you. It's still not always easy for me. It's really hard to socialize and be in groups and not know when to keep my mouth shut. Not only do I have Asperger's, but I have OCD and ADHD. My OCD really gets to me. I'll obsess on things. it will go round and round. Or I'll be discussing something with someone. And I'll go in circles. And I won't even realize I'm doing it. Thankfully, I have family and friends who can tell me, Allison, you're having an Asperger's moment. And I'll be like, ah, oh, and it kind of makes a joke of it now. But you know, we can get through this. People who have this get through it, it's not the end of the world. You may struggle at times, and believe me, you will. And I know that I'll struggle until the day I die and meet Jesus in heaven. But he has really helped me, and I have leaned on him that I am special, I am loved, and I am precious in his sight. My name is Allison, and I'm a fighter.